radio station. When you're driving, we'll listen to your radio station. Welcome to Effort of PM. Thought I'd bring it to you real smooth. <laughs> As of right now, South Korea has yet to hear about... I'm, uh, Collect Danger. And I'm Beautiful. Who's that? The girl watching this. True. Today is April 5th, which means that it is our first ever TH Pose Thursday. Get your best bud to form <laughs> the H. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Due to everyone's super busy schedule, the robotics club meeting scheduled for yesterday afternoon was canceled. Instead, we are going to meet during homeroom on Friday for a group photo and distribution of the much coveted yellow cones. You need to check into homeroom a bit early on Friday and then hoof it up to 320, explicitly horse-like, as, qu as quickly as you can. Questions? Email Mr. Myers. Attention juniors and seniors, you are invited to attend an evening of dinner and dancing under the stars on Saturday, May 12th at the Inn at Reading. Ticket sales for the 2018 prom will be on sale next week on Tuesday and Thursday, April 10th and 12th, and the following week on Wednesday and Thursday, April 18th and 19th. Students who have obligations will not be allowed to purchase a ticket. This includes any fees or obligations such as lost books, library fines, lab fees, missing forms, and time owed. Get your obligations clear now, and keep them clear so you can make a hassle-free purchase for your prom tickets. Reminder, students will be seated at tables of 10, so gather your friends, <coughs> or me, and purchase your tickets as a group. Don't do that. Alright, we're going to speed run this one. One breath. Here we go. Attention current 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, the online safety and digital citizenship 2018-2019 course should now appear in your course's menu on Schoology. The course is one of the requirements that you must complete in order to keep your laptop for the summer and or be issued your device for next school year. An email has also been sent to your parents with a link to the digital parental acknowledgement form. Please ask your parents to check their email to ensure that they receive it, both the parent permission form and the Schoology course. It's been completed by all students. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. It's, it's too long. Our goal is for everyone to have both requirements completed by the end of the school year. If you intend to keep your laptop for the summer, these requirements must be completed by Tuesday, May 30th. Do not delay. It is in your best interest to get the course and the digital parental acknowledgement completed as soon as possible. Now over to Marius Miller with the news. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say... In sports resort, resort. In sports resorts. In sports resorts. Sports resorts. Several movie theaters in Saudi Arabia are set to reopen in the capital city of Riyadh, many of which have been closed for multiple decades. This seems to be the next step in King Salman's plan of moderate and gradual social and economic liberalization, known in the Middle East as Vision 2030, which also resulted in Saudi women obtaining the right to drive and to attend sporting events last year. The first movie to be shown in most of the theaters will be Black Panther. On this day in 2008, famous actor Charlton Heston passed away at the age of 80. <coughs> he was known for playing larger-than-life characters and for being a total babe, and appeared in over 100 movies in his lifetime. He played Moses in The Ten Commandments and was possibly most recognized for his role as Ben-Hur, a movie which won 11 Academy Awards. He also played the lead role in the original Planet of the Apes, and of course, if you take in Spanish 3, 3, Trace. He performed in the classic film El Cid. Now back to the main desk with lunch. <coughs> <laughs> hey yo, for lunch today we got a meatball sandwich with mozzarella. Oh, we hitting you up with those uh, buffalo chicken paninis. And you know we got that BBQ bacon cheeseburger. Oh, uh, sliding the DMs like garlic French bread pizza. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> BBQ chicken wrap. Uh, crispy chicken salad. That uh, fruit and yogurt parfait with a uh, muffin? Uh, toss salad. Uh, let me get a sweet, uh, seasoned sweet potato fries. Uh, do you have any more uh, refried beans? Uh, add some uh, fresh broccoli uh, or cucumbers and dip. Uh, applesauce or fruit. Or? You know, we got that slushy. Okay, you up. Slushy! Now over to sports. Alright, okay. Uh, Alright, okay. Alright, okay.
Sports Resorts, boys lacrosse won 17 to 5 at Garden Spot, and everything else was postponed or we don't have a score result. Today in sports, tennis is away at Warwick, track is away at Palmyra, and volleyball is home versus Garden Spot. Track is home against Lebanon. <laughs> now back to the main desk. Hey, what up? Oh, this announcement is for any student who has taken an AP exam. That's me. And still owes a balance for their test fees. It's also me. Uh, please stop by the counseling office and drop off your payment ASAP. As final payments are due by Friday, April 13th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Detzler. Calling all seniors who want to help out at this year's baccalaureate. It's the church service celebrating our graduating class at the end of the school year. For more information, there is a meeting in room 108, Mr. Buck's room, right after school on Friday, April 6th. That's tomorrow. Please contact Grace Dalby, Seth Ballinger, or our very own Ethan Brubaker with any questions. Attention students of Ephrata High School. If you are interested in running for student council, please stop down to Mr. Marzak's room and pick up your petition. Only six members are selected to become representatives of student council per grade to represent our student body. And since we represent our school and student body, we will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up your petition from Mr. Marzak in room 173. Oh, uh, 137. Oh, uh, yeah, that one. Uh, room you, 173. <laughs> you, uh, you will need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only, or your petition will be void. Next, you will need to ask a teacher or administrator at the high school for a recommendation basically saying that you would be a great leader, a hard worker, and would represent our school well. But you can't ask Mr. Marzak, Mrs. Eschmidt, or Senior Sorella because they are the student council advisors. Finally, a list of all eligible students running to be representatives will be sent out to the faculty for one last look-see. Just make sure all said students running are within good standing at the high school. And if everything goes well, which it probably will, elections will be held on Friday, April 20th. That means voting, people! So stop down to see Mr. Marzak and get your petitions and teacher recommendations turned in by Friday, April 13th. Any petition or teacher recommendation received at Friday, April 13th will not be accepted. So stop down to see Mr. in Mr. Marzak's room 137 and let's get this show on the road. Hey, yo, what up, Ephrata High School stu- stu- <laughs> Hey yo, what up? Hey, yeah, there we go. Hey yo, what up, <laughs> for the high school students? If you want to ask a special someone or a special friend in a special way to prom, very special, Ephrata AM is here for you. Yes, we see you there. The week of the 16th through 20th, we are going to be running live promposals on air. If you are interested, contact any member of the Ephrata AM crew. First come, first serve. That's it. That's all for us today, Ephrata. Have a Dwight, Dwight Schrute day. day or TH pose Thursday. How? How am I supposed to solve this? How? How? Good boy. Good. There, there. There, there. Good boy. Good boy. I sensed distress, so I came as quick as I could. What seems to be the problem? Oh. Two plus two, huh? In order to solve that problem, you're gonna have to have faith. Faith cometh by hearing. You can do it. Go on. You can solve the problem. Let's go. Alrighty, yeah. That's an easy problem. Come on now. Two plus two. I'm sure you know what it is. Two plus two. Figure it out. It's not hard to count. Figure it out. Two plus two.
Figure it out! <laughs> My job here is done. <laughs> you now have faith. Now you can solve the problem. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs>